Hello everyone, I'm Jack Mitchell. I run Silver Road Jewelry. My jewelry is generally earthy and organic inspired. I use gems from around the world. I like to collect a lot of gems along my travels when I'm where I can. Obviously right now, not quite the case. I'm actually filming this in lockdown number two. So I've currently moved in with my sister and nephew to keep them company during this time. So I'm not in my normal surroundings. I've actually taken over my nephew's room. I'm surrounded by toys. I won't show you that. Um, now, how I actually started making jewelry is when I was 17, I'd done a two and a half year apprenticeship. And that's where I learned most of the skills I still use today. After the apprenticeship, I then went on to study jewelry design at university level level in Sheffield Hallam University and when I graduated I had to decide whether to focus on my jewellery career or follow my dream of travelling. It's a pretty pretty big decision because I've spent so much time working on my jewellery skills and design skills but I decided to follow my dreams and I bought a one-way ticket to Australia. I spent a year travelling Australia. After that I moved to um, Southeast Asia for about three months and after that I moved to New Zealand and this whole time I took some pliers, some wire and some beads just to keep me doing little bits and bobs here and there. Six months into my time in New Zealand I bought a van and suddenly I, I realised it, it all hit me at once, it's like a eureka moment. I could order my tools, get them all sent over and build a workshop in the back and that's where it all started, that is where Silver Road Jewellery began, in the back of a van in New Zealand. I spent the next six months traveling New Zealand, making jewelry. I loved it. I just, I just found how I combined the two loves of my life into one and really make my life how I want it to be. Uh, when I left New Zealand, obviously I sold the van and suddenly I realized that, well, I've got a, you know, a workshop amount of tools with me that I can't realistically take everywhere. So I started to think about what I really needed. And over the next four years, you know, I got rid of tools I didn't need. I bought tools I did need. And I really thought how to minimalize what I need to make the jewelry I make. All right, so I'm gonna give you a little tour of my workshop and my setup, and it's, it is a very, very little tour. All right, here we go. All my tools, everything I use to make the jewelry that I make. I got a simple set of pliers, uh, two bluff sticks, a hammer and a mallet, and then I got some needle files, some tweezers, my saw, some punches, a couple more files, it's my bench peg, my dremel, my blow torch, just, you know, binding wire, oxidization solution, my man drills, um, yeah, ring clamp, and I just use this to organize my silver and some things like saw blades, silver cloths, and this is just what I use to keep my jewelry in when it's made, and that's the briefcase it all fits in, so just to keep everything very minimalistic. Okay, so as you can see, you really don't need a lot of tools to make jewellery. What I'd say if you're thinking about starting up is just start small. Just think, what, what do I want to make right now? Oh, I want to make a ring. So buy the tools that you need just to make the ring. There's different tools for every job. If you want to make some earrings, think about, oh, right, what do I need to make earrings? Then buy the tools to make the earrings. Don't start at the end. Start at the very beginning. Start really small and build up your tools. You know, with what I do, there is limits. There's limits to what I can carry. So there's lots of things like doming blocks, collet blocks, our big steel blocks that they make life really easy when you're making jewelry for sure, but they're heavy. So I want to keep my work as light as possible. The other thing you've got to think about if you want to go overseas or take it overseas with you is hazardous products. What you can take and what you can't take. There is lots of limits. Luckily these days, there's lots of solutions. Yeah, and just, just make it work for yourself. Just work out what you want to do with it and where you want to take it. All right, guys. That's about it from me. If you'd like to see the sort of jewelry I create with the tools that I have behind me, and you'd like to find out a little bit more about my story, Kerno Craft have done an amazing interview with me in their Meet the Jewelers section. So yeah, go check out their website, kernocraft.com. It's a great website with lots of good products and lots of good tips. I hope everyone's having a great day. And yeah, speak to you soon. See you later.